So hello guys, and today we're going to show you how to use GarageBand. You have tracks over here, and then this is where you're being most of your mixing of audio. Over here you can pick like drums and different instruments over here. Down here you have your volume. And then over here you have your measure and bar, so the beat and everything right here. You can also go to time chord and project so I usually leave it in time so you have play pause all that good stuff over here loop you have record button you have add a track cut and then you can adjust how big you could see your audio for more fine tuning but let's just start with a basic thing so I'm going to go to Beats, and then I like that one, that one sounds good. And then we're going to add, um, let's see, let's go to drums now. So that would sound good. And then let's go to electric guitar. Right? Guitars. And over here you have tempo, key, and beats right here. Eight beats per measure. So they all the way go up to sixteen. Let's just add a couple more things. Um, what else can we do? We could do strings. What kind of strings are there? And we'll use this one. So, we got four tracks. You can have unlimited tracks, it does not matter. You can also add audio into this too for singing which what I have here is a microphone which I'm recording off of and you can use that but if you just don't you just click an add button for that so here we can move this smaller and we can see what we got so it looks like these two are shorter than the others so right here you click on the upper right hand corner and you can drag when you show the symbol right here and you can make it longer so you hit the space bar to play it or you can hit the play button alright so I'm hearing some things that are quiet in this so if I want the strings up a little louder and let's have it, the beat be a little louder and then same with this one and then the acoustic guitar is fine so let's hear it now so I think that sounds good and you can also go over here and you can lock them once you got them the way you want them lock all this and you can also solo some stuff so you only hear this So, and then the acoustic guitar, if we just want to solo these two together, Let me back up a little bit. Let's listen to the whole thing. Let's unclick those two. And then let's bring it back. And that's just how to make a basic track in GarageBand. From there, you can go into Share on the GarageBand tab. And you can share this via... 
iTunes, QuickTime, stuff like that. But I'm not going to go into that right now. That will be in a later video. But if you guys have any questions, you guys can email me or send me a message on YouTube. And I hope you guys like this. Thanks for watching.